Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Marla and I'm filming another five o'clock in the morning video. I'm starting to enjoy doing five o'clock in the morning videos. I don't know why. I guess I'm just an early bird. But um, this is a quick review on a lip gloss and I don't know if you've seen my other videos. I'm kind of not a big lip gloss person, but um, I don't know. I just saw these and I thought I'd give them a try. They are by Becca. And they're the Ultimate Color Gloss Brilliant Colors Supreme. I don't know if that's the full name, but that's what I'm reading on the bottom of this little container. And I got them in two colors. I think they come in 10 different shades. The shade I got was one Palm Breeze, which looks like this. And it's kind of a, um, I would say a mauve rose color. And this is probably the one that goes probably the best with my skin coloring. And of course, the one, another one I picked up that I'm always attracted to, I know I did a video on this before, the nude kind of beige colors that don't look good on me. I always have to pick up one of those for some strange reason. This one is called Fallen Angel and it's kind of a nudie spice color. It's really not a great shade for my olive complexion, but what the heck, I always have to pick up one of these for some strange reason. These are really, really nice lip glosses. I tried a couple other things by Becca that I just kind of was not impressed with, but these lip glosses really are very nice. They're unusual because they're super highly pigmented, which is great. They have a very nice shine. I'll actually um, put them on my lips. I'm not wearing them right now. I'm wearing a Dior lipstick, but um, they do have a really nice, great shine. They go on very silky. They're not tacky. They don't have that tacky feeling like a lot of lip glosses have that I absolutely hate. These are made with vitamin E you know, and emollients, so they really hydrate your lips. Now, if you're gonna eat and use a napkin, obviously they are gonna come off, but um, they do last a fairly long time, at least on me. And the smell is, <laughs> I could eat these. The smell is so good. It's almost like a, Almost like a vanilla cupcake smell. It's really a good smell. It's not overpowering. And you really only smell it when you first put it on your lips. After they're on your lips, you don't smell it on any, anymore. They don't have a fruity smell. I've tried a couple other things by Becca. I think the beach tint that I just couldn't stand because it was kind of a really fruity smell. But these have a really kind of vanilla cupcake smell, which who doesn't like vanilla cupcakes? Come on. Okay. So, um, I'm going to just do a quick swatch. I have a photo at the end of the swatches. I want to show you what the wand looks like. This is the wand. You know, obviously it's a typical wand. It looks just like that. And I'll show you what the swatch looks like on my hand on YouTube. But sometimes the colors are a little bit different when I swatch it like this in front of the camera. Um, I also have pictures at the end of swatching. So this is kind of the palm breeze. It looks like that shade. Like I said, I'm always really not very good at doing this. So it's kind of a mauve-y uh, mauve rose color. It's very pretty. But still, for me, for some reason, it's still a little darker than I prefer. I prefer the lip color I'm wearing right now. And then this one that's going to go on top of the Palm Breeze. This is um, the Fallen Angel. And this is a really pretty color for people that can wear more of that um, beigey, uh, you know, color tone. Why am I so bad at this? Let me see if I turn like totally this way. There we go, maybe that works a little bit better. The top one is the Fallen Angel. You can see how highly pigmented they are. They're very kind of really thick and rich, uh, nice shine to them. But the top one is a little, a little too beigey for my skin coloring. So I thought I would show those and share those with you. These really are really nice lip glosses if you're looking for a very highly pigmented lip gloss that goes on silky, not real tacky, um, but has a really great shine. So let me show you some quick um, photo swatches. I'll see how these turned out. I do have a picture of these on my hand. And with them on my lips, I don't know if I'm going to go with a, a picture or just come back on and let you see what they look like on my lips. So I will be right back. Here are the swatches of the beigey color on top is the Fallen Angel and the mauve Rose on the bottom is the Palm Breeze. All right, I thought it would be easier if I just put the swatches on me rather than having to set up my camera to take the pictures. So 
The one I have on right now is the Fallen Angel, and you can see how after putting that on, all of a sudden, I look a little paler. My cheeks are no longer rosy, so it just really does, um, for me, it just doesn't give me any color, but for people who can wear this color, it is really a beautiful shade of kind of that beigey, high gloss sheen. So, Fallen Angel, hello, and you can see how this color for me is still a little too bright. That's why I'm not a big fan. I can't just seem to find the right color. The Dior lipstick that I wear, I just love that color so much. And this is just a little brighter than I would normally wear. But for some people, this would be probably a great color and they would absolutely love it. They do feel great. You can see how really shiny these lipsticks, these um, lip glosses are and pigmented. They're just really beautiful and they smell so yummy. You just want to eat it. This one is the Palm Breeze shade, and this is the um, sort of the mauve rose color, but again, just a little darker than I would normally wear, but I'm not gonna say anything negative about them because overall, they're just great, great lip glosses. I just can't seem to find a color that I really prefer. So, highly recommend these uh, Becca, let me get the full name again, Becca Ultimate Color Gloss, Brilliant Colors, Supreme. I don't know if that's the whole name that's listed on their site, but that's what's on the bottom of the little tube. Hope you guys have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.